Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and tonight we have got the soft launch. Well, tonight, based on where you live in the world, for me, it's tonight. But uh, tonight, we've got the soft launch for Awaken Chaos Era, which is a game that I've covered a couple times on my channel. I'm going to give you everything you need to know about what is happening tonight and how you can play and be a part of it because Awaken Chaos Era is in the similar industry as Rage Shadow Legends. Obviously, it's going to have a different aesthetic and it's going to work differently, uh, but it's going to be based around building a roster, summoning shards, pulling champions, leveling them up, uh, and getting a, a roster developed on your account. So it is similar to the Gasha industry game Raid. So I thought some of you might be interested in knowing that there is going to be a soft launch for it tonight, and I will be streaming some Raid and also streaming some of uh, Awaken Chaos Era to help you along your journey. If you have any questions, you're welcome to stop by. But I am going to walk you through all of that, so let's get into it. Alrighty, so first of all, I'll link to this down below if you want to be able to navigate to this yourself. But if I pull up their Discord server right here, and let me go ahead and shrink myself down. Okay, so this is going to be over on their Discord server, and you can see here on the news, greetings, we're happy to announce that the official Awaken Chaos Era soft launch will be coming your way today, November 23rd at 10 p.m. GMT minus four, uh, which is going to be about three and a half, four hours uh, from the point of me recording this you'll probably be seeing this if you watch it right away uh, when there's about two or three hours left on this so uh, it's time to awaken your inner hero and then down below the soft launch regions include Canada and you know what's with Can Canada always gets included in these soft launches I I I'm so jealous of you Canadians you're always getting in there on every single soft launch Diablo Immortal Awaken Chaos Era everything I see they make sure to get Canadians in there uh, but we've got Canada United Kingdom Australia and New Zealand uh, and then if you are in these regions you can use the Google Play link, which they've got right here that I'll link to down below. And then if you are not, uh, please use the APK link and then please delete all previous CBT versions, uh, which is closed beta testing uh, of the game and install the latest version. So what I did on my blue stacks was I deleted the Awaken Chaos Era I had installed on there from before uh, when I was playing it and covering it for you guys. And then I went ahead and downloaded that APK link that they have right there. It went to my downloads folder and then you simply just open up. This is what I did. I open up Bluestacks, which I'll also provide a link down below to download Bluestacks because I'm going to be playing it on PC and that's how I'm going to be doing it is via the, EP, the APK file that I drag over. I simply uh, click on the file, held down mouse click, drug it onto my Bluestacks and dropped it and it installed the APK and then boom, I'm able to open the game, but obviously I can't play it yet. Uh, as you can see right here, I've got it open, but when I click start, it's not going to let me in. It's just going to pull up the soft launches coming screen where you can kind of flip through uh, some different tabs here on the game, but you're not able to actually get in and play yet. But there is also, if you navigate to the Discord server, there is also, let me shrink myself even further here, right there we've got a live countdown. So uh, if you navigate to the server, you'll get that right there under the news tab, which you can see up above. I am currently on the news tab. It will give you uh, all the links you can see right here next to me. And you will be able to see the live countdown right there on the Discord server, or else I will be live on Twitch and you're welcome to hang out with me and I'll walk you through all of it as it is leading up to the start time. And I do also have a video that I, I will link to down below as well, where I walk through uh, reviewing it and giving my first impressions of the game and, and showing how the summoning works and how the champion roster works and, and talking about all of that. Now, one thing that's really, really cool about this game is that after you play for a little bit, uh, 30 minutes to an hour, something like that, it gives you what is called, if I remember correctly, it gives you what is called a rookie summon, which is where you basically, if I compare it to something like Raid, uh, you basically pull 10 ancient shards like five times and it lets you pick the best result and whichever one you want to go with so let's say you pulled you did a 10 pull of ancient shards oh my gosh on one of them i got apothecary and miscreated monster yeah i'm gonna pick that one and i'm gonna run with it so you can do something like that it gives you a free 10 pull like five times and you can go with, with whichever one that you want to choose for your account and i'll be live to help you make those decisions uh if you're really uh kind of stuck like oh my gosh i, I kind of like this one because i got a legendary i kind of like this one because i got two epics i don't know which one to pick uh we'll, we'll be live we'll be hanging out we'll be sharing screenshots with each other and talking about those different conundrums that people are experiencing 
And in case you're curious, this is going to be exactly, I've got it from my previous video. If you want the too long, didn't watch version, that is what it looks like. So you'll get five different, uh, they're, they're five pulls technically, but comparing it to raid, it's kind of like a 10 pull. But you got five pulls. Uh, each one will either have a legendary or two epics in it. So uh, Methasia that you see over there on the far right is a legendary support champion. Uh, so I think I ended up going with that one. That's what I'm explaining in the video. Uh, Methasia has the ability to do lots of heals and provide lots of support for your team kind of a good one to build around but there are all the other iterations up top that you can see one two three four five you've got your different choices you can see there is number five it's got a different legendary in savannah uh there's number four uh and i kind of walk through them all right here uh two you see that you had a couple epics there uh so you'll get a different there's hector hector is amazing i i, I probably should have went with that one in hindsight uh, but we'll be talking about all that stuff and we'll be talking about the different champions and how they compare to each other and how they rank and we'll be going over all of that stuff in game so yeah anyway i know lots of you are on my channel because of the raid shadow legends coverage and obviously i love raid that's not going anywhere there's big things coming to raid i'm still going to be playing raid six seven hours a day and covering it on a daily basis but i know since you guys are mobile gamers at least a lot of you that a game like this might interest you and it might be worth trying and seeing if you enjoy it or not because it is the same type of genre as raid so i figured why not let you know about it and we can have some fun and kind of play it on the side of raid and kind of see how it goes and how much we like it but obviously keep in mind that uh you know we're all gonna kind of be learning this together i did play a lot in the beta but the game is so new that there's a lot to figure out and that makes it exciting uh, when everybody doesn't have necessarily perfect knowledge and, and a super meta understanding of everything uh, it's kind of fun to theory craft and talk about things that we think are good or could be good and then have those opinions evolve over time so we'll be doing our best to kind of chat and figure things out as we go and I'll let you know my first impressions on what I think so far but obviously I'm gonna need more time to get really concrete on exactly what's amazing what's decent what's bad and how I feel about these champions in general as we go along here and one quick little teaser about the game that I think you guys are going to love is over on the right, you're seeing my video from back in the day covering this. That is upgrading the skills. That's the different abilities that the champion has and upgrading the abilities to get more damage and uh, lower cooldowns and stuff like that. You can actually farm the resources required for upgrading skills in the game. There isn't like a skill gem or a skill book or something like that. You can farm the resources required to upgrade the skills of even your legendary champion. Champions. So I thought that was a super cool feature that I thought you would want to know about. So remember, I will have those links down below to help you navigate as easy as possible. And then I'll make sure uh, and, and go live over on Twitch when I release this video. So uh, if, if you're seeing this video right when it came out, there's also a link down below where you can come over to Twitch and I'll be hanging out with you guys, answering questions. And we will be kind of going through this and playing Raid and playing Awaken Cast Era and, and enjoying uh, the, the journey of a new game, which is always exciting. We'll be doing that together. But remember, it is a soft launch. So it's not going to be available on like American iPhones. It's going to be uh, only available you can see right here in the news post uh, the soft launch is in Canada UK Australia New Zealand and if you're in those regions you can play uh, with the Google Play link so it doesn't look like it's on the Apple I uh, the, the Apple store yet uh, but also you can play on the APK if you have access to a computer uh, laptop something like that you can get blue stacks on there uh, whatever you use blue stacks LD player I recommend blue stacks for it like I said I've got that down below as well you drag it over drag and drop it installs it and you're good to go but like I said I'll be there if you have any questions and i'm happy to help you as best i can so that's going to do it for me on this one as always thank you for watching have a good rest of your day peace